Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to share about an interesting kind of a migraine, which is called as a menstrual migraine. So what is this and what can we do about it is what I'm going to be talking about. Uh, menstrual migraine is a common migraine. In fact, two thirds of women who have migraines might prevent, present with this condition. So what do we mean by this? This is that the headaches are very severe and they occur in relationship to the menstrual cycle. And they can start just before the cycle and carry on for another 48 or 72 hours during the periods. Uh, these are quite severe, they are disabling and they interfere with your quality of life. In fact, I just saw a lady 34 years who's been having these headaches and she's very clear that they come for only during those three to four days, nothing in the rest of the month, and it's been going on for a few years. Why do they occur? One thought is, of course, that there is a change in the hormonal status. So the serum estradiol falls, and that's where maybe the mig migraines come up. And what can we do about them? The treatment is uh, two-pronged. One is we need to end this attack, and that's called as the abortive treatment. And second is that can be prevented. So for the abortive treatment, one can use the conventional anesthetes, that is the medications which are used for pain, and also the specific painkillers for migraine called as the triptans, the sumatriptan, the rhizotriptan. And the preventive can again be short-term preventing or a long-term preventive. Short-term means that, as you know, if it's going to occur during the perimenstrual cycle, uh, the medication is started just before the menstrual cycle and carried on for another two to three days. This again could be just the NSAIDs, the naproxens, mefenemic acid, uh, ibuprofen regularly for about those three to four days and can also take triptans as a prophylaxis. For long-term prophylaxis is things like the uh, oral contraceptive pills which can be given for a few months. Uh, but just to end by saying that there is an entity called as menstrual migraine. It is seen in women. So whenever we see a woman with headaches or migraines, we, we should ask that does it have any specific relationship to the cycle? Uh, and they could, should be treated and they will make a person feel um, much better and decrease this refractory concept of migraine or which are causing considerable impact on their day-to-day -day life and in their working conditions. Thank you so much.